Well, today we're here at the Ponce Art Museum, a very difficult place to visit because it has very limited hours. It's only open on Fridays. But we've heard it's really fantastic and a must-see when you're in Ponce. So we're going to visit today. Hopefully we'll be able to catch an English language tour, but otherwise we'll enjoy, I'm sure, some amazing art. So vamonos! So the museum is only open on Fridays from uh, like 10 to 3. And uh, it has been closed for numerous, numerous years uh, since, a, uh, since an earthquake. And we can see some of the structural damage here uh, that, that, that the earthquake caused. So uh, it should, uh, should be a very interesting visit here today. In we go. Oh, that's an actual work of art. It's called the Archipelago. By Jaime Javier Suarez. What? The, uh, oh. That. that. Uh -huh. Of course it is. <coughs> okay. Huh. Recycled asphalt. No smoking and also no smoking. No smoking. My dear, of course, in the shop, every museum's got one. Hello. I gotta get something for Julie from here. Okay. Hi, welcome. Hello. Hi, can we get our tickets in here? Yeah, yes. That's what I thought. So in the museum here, one third of the collection is uh, from a Puerto Rican artist. So this is the uh, Puerto Rican artist exhibit floor, as the case may be. Okay, I wish I like that. This is the Dorado Hilton. Right here we start on the third floor here. Columns, house and mangrove. This is titled Saint. Painted in 1958. This is titled Trees. This is titled Prosecutor. Ha! There's a self portrait. <laughs> so I painted it in 2010. And of course, Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. So this is birds number one. So this is titled House in the Corner. Arrieto. This is titled Contrast, painted in 1961. Some of the sculptures that are outside here. <clears throat> Some of the damage, just the visible damage. Obviously, there's structural damage that they just will not allow them to, uh, to open it to, to the public at this point in time. So this building was built in uh, the early 60s, and uh, there was a really severe earthquake in uh, southwest Puerto Rico in uh, January of uh, 2020. That uh, structurally compromised this building 
and it's been pretty much closed ever since. Uh, we got into not the main gallery uh, today, but uh, into the uh, the annex. We saw you know, several pieces of several pieces of art, uh, and certainly not anywhere near their uh, sort of world-renowned collection, which I think is about uh, uh, fourteen thousand pieces of art. I think in their main in the main gallery, um, they have uh, recently you know gotten approval you know to uh, to repair the old structure you know and renovate it the cost is in the range of somewhere between 40 50 million dollars you know some of that will be paid in insurance fema is going to pay for some of it and uh, they have to do some fundraising but uh, right now they are looking to uh, reopen uh, fully uh, probably in the fall of 2025 so when that come when that happens and that comes about uh, we will be back here because I really, really want to see uh, what's in this museum because uh, uh, people have, that have been here before the earthquake say it's just, uh, just spectacular. So uh, hopefully we'll be back then uh, when, they've, uh, when they've renovated and let us into the main building.